Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, I Lord. pray and hope that you love to pray. Amen. I know the weather is, 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 is <laughs> raining today. Yes. And many may chose not to come out today. Oh, yeah, yeah. But there's going to be a day when the Lord yeah. comes back. It might be coming back when it's raining. Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. you going to be then? Yeah. If the Lord yeah. comes back when it's raining. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All day, this is the day of the Lord. Say that. We Say that. come together to worship Him <laughs> in spirit and in truth yes, as well. Yes, sir. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Yeah. It's just good to see those who took time uh, during the rain and during the storm to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Uh, you're not going to have rain that, that come down from the sky, but you're going to have rain in your life. Yes, sir. If you have rain in your life and storms in your life, you need the Lord on your yes, side, right? Uh, you need the Lord on your side because rain is coming in your life and storms also coming in your life also as well. But if you build on a solid foundation, you build on the right foundation, you might be a little bit, but you ain't coming up. Because you're rooted in Him. When you're rooted, you might sway a little bit, but you ain't coming up because you're founded on a solid rock. So it's good to be here, and I pray and hope that we come to receive God in graphic word, which is able to save your soul. I want to say there's power in the Word of God. But we take time this morning to look at the Word of God together. And I pray and hope that I will say something that will help someone understand what God's will is today. I know that this morning we all have desired one day to go to heaven. I know you're here for that reason. You're not, uh, you know, you might be here for some other reason too, but uh, your desire one day to go to heaven and be with God, right? And, and I pray and hope that you have that desire, but not only have that desire, but also uh, be a doer of what God said in his word also this morning. But if we look at the word of God in 1 Peter chapter 1, look at God's book, the Bible. Bless information, bring life everlasting. Yes. As we look at the book, God's book, Apostle Peter write to the church there of the Asian matter. He write to several congregations, also apply to us today as well. The Apostle Peter had the keys to the kingdom of heaven as well. Mm -hmm. now, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, the Bible said, Jesus said, Peter on his rock. On your confession, I will build my church. Yeah. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Mm -hmm. I will give you the key unto the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Peter had the keys to open up the doors on the day of Pentecost to the house of the Jews. Mm -hmm. I also had the keys in Acts chapter 10 to the Gentile who came into the church as well. And Peter still had the key to tell you also how to get into the everlasting kingdom of God, which is the church, into the everlasting kingdom of God, which is heaven as well. So Peter had the keys as well. We listen to Peter, who was the apostle of Jesus Christ. And we look at 1 Peter chapter 1 for uh, this morning. 1 Peter chapter 1, we look at God's word together, verse 24 and 20, uh, 25, and chap chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Peter said, for all flesh is as grass, mm -hmm. all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Mm -hmm. The grass wither and the flower thereof fall away. But the word of the Lord endure forever. Mm -hmm. This is the word which we, by the gospel, is preached unto you. Wherefore, laying all aside all malice, all guile, hypocrisy, envy, he was speaking as newborn babe, desire, the sense of miracle of the word, that he that he may grow thereby. Looking at this chapter for this boy in chapter one and chapter two. In chapter one, we find that Peter began to write to the congregations, and he said that to those in chapter one, and we look at verse number two and verse number three, Peter says here, the elect according to the forelight of God through the suffocation of the Spirit unto obedience of the sprinkling of blood of Jesus Christ unto you be peace and be multiplied. Here Peter is right to the church and he wants to understand those who have been baptized and have been washed by the blood of Christ which is the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ and he said also, bless me to God and the Father 
of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to abundant mercy have begotten us again, when he begotten us, as a lively hope, he begotten us what? In baptism as well, through what? The word of God. Then he said in chapter, first Peter chapter 1, he wanted them to understand that uh, this is the word that we preach on to you as well. He said, verse 24, all flesh is as grass, all the glory of man as a flower of grass, the grass wither and the flower thereof fall away. But the word of the Lord endure forever. But this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Wherefore, the way he said, wherefore, lay aside. I want to title this subject, Do You Want to Get Better? Do you want to get better? Or do you want to become a better Christian? You know, when we first obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ, we heard the gospel, we heard the facts of the gospel. Uh -huh. uh, we believe, we repent, we got baptized, and we came out of that water, we supposed to start a new walk of life. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Here Peter's writing to those who are newborn babes, have been born again, non-corrupt, but they were infrared by the word of God, was living and abide forever. As a Christian, we ought to want to do better. Yes. Amen. As a Christian, as some athletes sometimes, they want to be better. Yes. They put in extra hours of practice. Yeah. Yeah. They put in extra hours of going to the gym and getting better. Yeah. Well, they have to exercise their muscles, they have to exercise uh, their, uh, their body, get their body in physical shape, mm -hmm. that they can be a better athlete. A better, a better a football player, a basketball player, even even going to school, you want you want to get better. You want to be a better student. If you're not where you ought to be, and, and you might have a D, you want to get a C, and your C might not be better enough for you. You want to get a B. Right. You want to get better in where you're at today. Yeah. Well, a child of God, we ought to want to get better as well. Amen. And by understanding by it, I ought to get better as a child of God. That's the thing we must do. Amen. And as Peter write to these newborn babes that had been born, not a corrupt of that incorrupt thing, which is the word of God, would live it and abide forever. You want them to understand in verse chapter 24, he said, all the glory of man as flesh of man is, is as, as the grass. Mm -hmm. And all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Mm -hmm. He said, the grass wither mm -hmm. and the flower Falls away. Amen. See, the world is glory. It's fading away every day. Amen. That's why the Bible said, don't love the world, neither things in the world. Any man of the world, the love of God is not in him. All over the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the in the pride of life. This is not of God. This is not of the Father. But this is of the world, right? Amen. But as a Christian, we ought to want to get better. Amen. We all just don't want to get baptized. I've been baptized and got no sin, but God and washed away. But we ought to want to get better. Amen. And as a Christian, when we come out of the water, there's some things we have to work on as being a child of God. Yes. What baptism does for us, baptism washes away our past sin. Yeah. It put us into Christ. We become new creatures. But once we become new creature and it pulls into Christ and we have a relationship with the Lord, we have to start all again, learn how to walk all over again. Amen. And some of that stuff, when you come out of that water, it's still in you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's still in you. Yes, sir. That's why Peter tells us they have to do. They want to grow. Yeah. Even though God forgave them all their past sins in the water, but they still have some stuff in them. Yeah. And Peter wants you to understand that even though you got baptized, you were born again in the water, but you still got some stuff in you. If you want to grow, you have to let it slide. You ought to want to get better at being a child of God. All right. See, baptism will move the hate from your heart. It will move the hate from your heart. You have to work on that. You have to lay it outside to say it. And forgive all your 
past sin. It puts you in Christ and we have a relationship with the Lord as well. You are in Christ where salvation is, right? That's where you are. But when you come out of that water, you got to be taught how to live that Christian life, right? Right. Amen. That's why Jesus said, teach them. Yes. What you teach them first? That Christ died on the cross. Teach them that he would bury rose and preach the gospel and teach them uh, uh, the command, what to do to become a child of God. Right. And then you baptize them. Then you teach them again mm-hmm. so they can get better. Mm-hmm. See, we all want to get better, right? Amen. And the only way we're going to get better, we got to first start out running the race right. Amen. See, you can't enter the race the way you want to enter it. Yeah. If you want to get live a better life, mm-hmm. you have to enter the race. Mm-hmm. The way the Lord tell you what? Yeah. Tell the race, right? Yeah. And once you enter that race, as a child of God, then you must be taught how to run the race. Right. But some of us got too much weight on us. Amen. That we can't grow, right? Yes. Some of us got too much stuff in us. Yeah. That we can't grow. Amen. And your mama said, boy, when, uh, you don't have a tape worm in you because everything you eat, you ain't you get no bigger. <laughs> I don't worry about the tape worm today, though. <laughs> but back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, yeah. you heard about that tape worm. Oh, no. You ought to get a little bigger. Yeah. But somebody hitting your growth, right? Yeah. And sometimes we must understand as Christian men, children of God, what is hitting your growth in the Lord? Yeah. So Peter said, I want you to understand mm-hmm. whereby we preach unto you the gospel, mm-hmm. which is the word of God. Wherefore, if I want to get better, mm-hmm. Wherefore, I got to lay aside some things, right? Yes. And now that if they already laid everything aside in baptism, Peter wouldn't have telling me. Amen. But they laid anything aside. Yes. Even though they sinned and forgiven in baptism. That's why we have to learn to work with people. Because when they come out of the water, they still look the same. Uh, they did it the same. All the water did, Jesus was forgiven of their past sin. But they looked the same. They looked the same way when they come out of the water. But then you have to teach these folks how to live a Christian life. That's right. So Peter said, we're going to lay aside, right? Lay it aside. As newborn babe, desire the sincere milk of the word. Work for the side of what, Peter? Mm-hmm. All malice. Mm-hmm. All wickedness. Lay it all aside. Mm-hmm. Even though you are a child of God, you are in Christ Jesus. And though when Paul addressed the church at Corinth, he said to the faithful and to those who are in Christ Jesus. When he addressed the church at, at Ephesus, he said to the faithful and those also are in Christ Jesus. There are some who are faithful in the church. There are some who are not faithful in the church. Amen. But they are all still in Christ, right? Amen. But we have to teach them as being children of God how we, if we're going to grow, there's some things we have to do with the lay aside. Our malice. Some of you got too much in us. Amen. We can't get along with folks. Why do we have to grow? But you don't grow, you don't desire. Right. See, you got you got to want the word. You got to desire the word. Mm-hmm. See, the word can't help you if you don't desire. Right. You have to love the word of God. You have to want it to help you. David said, I paid it after the word of God as the deer paid out for the brooks of the water. He said, I love the word of God above the finest gold. Even the finest of gold, I love the word of God. He said, Lord, not before your command, I went astray. Amen. See, we, we need God's word. And if the word of God must be desired, right? Amen. If I desire, I'm eager to learn. Amen. If I desire, I might to be told to go to the Sunday school on Sunday morning. That's right. Amen. If I desire, I might be told to come away to like Bible That's study. Right. If I want to grow spiritually, I know I where I need to be. If I desire, I'm going to study at home as well. Amen. That's right. 
You want to grow? You have to desire, right? Amen. You have to want it. You have to love it. You have to eat it. Amen. <laughs> See, the word of God don't help you unless you digest it. Yeah. You don't digest it, it don't help you. You got to want the word of God within you. You got to want to digest the word of God. When you digest it, it'll help you. If you don't believe it by faith, the word of God will not help you, Peter said. Amen. This is the word of God. When we preach unto you the gospel, Wherefore, laying aside, what did you preach, Peter? I preached the gospel yes. to you, right? Uh -huh. The gospel is God's power, what? To save, to save right? Yes. Paul said, I'm not ashamed, what? The gospel. God, what? The gospel is God's power to save, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Peter said, what about desire the word? Now, in order, we got to desire the word for the word to help us, right? Amen. If I don't want it, it's not going to help me. Amen. You have to desire. You have to desire. Amen. You know, we desire everything, we desire everything else in life. <laughs> we, we, we desire to. Some of young people desire, there's nothing wrong with it. We desire to want to be, want to be pro football player. That's good if you can make it. Uh, we desire to want to be, be a, a professional ball player. That's good if you can make it. But nothing more important than the Word of God. Amen. Right? Because when you take the Word of God with you, Wherever you design life, you got the word of God, it will help you through life. Amen. No matter what, what, what you accomplish in life, if you ain't got the word of God, you like you are empty. You are. Right. That's why so many people commit suicide. Yeah. Because they don't have nothing to guide them right. and they need something in their life to help them. Yeah. And that Amen. is the what? The word of God, Amen. understanding of the word in itself. Amen. So a lot of people understand the word in itself. Amen. The word. Amen. See, see the word. The things of the world are temporary. Uh -huh. And people understand that the things of the world are temporary, but the things on the side, they are eternal. Amen. Amen. And that's what we need to be desiring. That's what we need Amen. to desire to look at the word of God, designing what Jesus said. Bless are those who are hungry. Oh, yes. see, 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 you should be so poor in spirit. Mm. And my poor financial wife. Right. But when I say poor in spirit, you are destituted for the word of God. Mm -hmm. You're hungry for it. Yeah. You want it. You're poor. You're destitute. Oh. You want the word of God. I'm not talking about poor for James. I'm in James chapter 2. A poor financial wife. A poor economic wife. But are you poor in spirit? Really, are you in poverty? You need Jesus. You need yeah. the word of God. And you are designing. Amen. Bless our those yes. who are hungry. Yes. Uh, you know, try to say happy are those. Happy are those who are hungry and thirst. Watch this. After what? Righteousness. Righteousness. Righteousness is keeping God's commandment. Keeping God's word. Righteousness. For they should what? Be filled. Be filled. See, what the Lord said, if you thirst after righteousness and you're hungry for it, God said you're going to be filled, right? Amen. See, a lot of times we're not filled with the word of God because we ain't thirsting for it. So you can't be filled with the word of God standing at home. Amen. Because he earned sharp and earned. Amen. And what you learn, like you learn at Sunday school, you might not get up for come stand at home, but you come to Sunday school, somebody might can help you understand it. Amen. So earn sharp and earned. We need to be in Sunday school. Yeah. Amen. That's right. We have desire. Yes. We have to want the word. Do you want do you want it? You know, the church is our place just come and sit mm. and just listen. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you right. ought to want the word that can develop you, can shape you, That's right. can form you, to look more like that man Jesus every day. Amen. 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 As we grow more, we in image, grow more, be in this likeness. That's what the word of God do for us, right? Amen. So the Bible said, work on us all malice. All malice. All guile, deceit. See, the serpent, the guile is. Yes. And as Christian, we got to lay all that aside, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. All malice, guile, envy. Envy is rightness to the bone, the Proverbs say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jacob brother killed him, Joseph brother killed him because they envy him. Cain killed Abel because Cain ended Abel. Mm -hmm. 
heard T.D. Jake say it. The reason Cain killed Abel because Abel, he wanted Abel's blessing. But I didn't read that like that. The reason Cain killed Abel because Abel did what was right. What the Bible said. Mm -hmm. doing the material thing. No. The Bible said he, he killed Abel because Abel did what was right. Mm -hmm. And he hated his brother and killed his brother, John said. Right. And Cain considered as a murder in 1 John chapter 3. Amen. This day and time, everything is a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. <laughs> everything is prosperity. Mm -hmm. I told a man the other day, nobody talk on hell no more. No, no. <laughs> Everybody talk on prosperity. Because mm -hmm. that's what the people want to hear them. Yeah. Right. It's good to talk. That's a time for that. That's a time for all things. And Paul said, preach the word. Be in season, out season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering talk. But the time will come. That's a time for all of it. Mm -hmm. But every Sunday is not about prosperity. Amen. Because Jesus did not come on to save us, but he came to warn us as well. Amen. If we don't serve him, we don't obey him, what will happen? Mm -hmm. He came to warn us as well. So we got to lay aside all envy. Y'all want to see your brothers and sisters prosper. Amen. 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 Y'all want to see them do good, right? Yes. Amen. See, when they prosper, then they can bless the church too, can't they? Amen. Amen. So, so we all want to see them prosper, right? Mm -hmm. look, look at 3 John. 3 John, right? Look what John said in 3 John. I think it's 3 John, I think we're looking at. 3 John. Watch the word of God in 3 John. What third John? Look at third John. Mm -hmm. Verse number two. Beloved. Beloved. Above all things that thou mayest prosper. Now, now, John said, I wish that thou, now, all things thou may prosper, right? Now, 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 John said, I wish that all things might have prosper. Not only just physical as well, but also mostly is spiritual. Yes. God wants to prosper spiritual as well as physical, right? Yes. God wants to bless us as being the children. Mm -hmm. God wants us to have things in this life also. Let, let me show you that. I want to show it to you as well. We are on the first chapter 6 in a minute. But I want to show you that when God blesses us, we don't become high man. Amen. Amen. We don't forget who blessed us. Amen. We don't forget who brought us where we're at today. When we were crying, asking God to help us out of this situation, mm -hmm. we don't forget about that. We don't mm -hmm. become high, man. We don't begin to trust yeah. in what we have, but we begin to trust. We would trust in what? The living God. Amen. Amen. You're the whole thing yeah. to enjoy. Yes. You that God enjoyed, didn't he? Amen. Yeah, he did y'all things to enjoy. Oh, yes. God gave you things to enjoy this life, but he wants you not to forget who blessed you with it, who Amen. gave it to you. Amen. Amen. We think y'all may cross reading. And be in hell. And be in hell. Even as thy soul prosper. Even as thy soul prosper. So John said, I want you to prosper, be of good health, and that your soul also yes. may prosper. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, we should want to see one of prosper. Amen. Amen. We should want to see one of good health. We should Amen. want to see one soul prosper as well. We should lay that envy aside. Yeah, yeah. So make yourself a knife. Don't envy them. Don't be jealous of them. They work for us. They ain't saying drugs for us. They work for us. As a Christian, you work hard for us. You ought to be glad you got him, bless him with it. Amen. So John said, lay aside. Your soul prophet. Look at 1 Timothy chapter 6. First Timothy chapter 6. Watch the word of God. First Timothy chapter 6. Notice the word of God. Watch God's word. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 18. Know what he says. That they do good. Now know what he says. Now what we as Christians, as we grow, we develop, we become more like Jesus Christ, have that mindset that Jesus had. One of my sons a class asked me today, student asked me today, said, 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 what do it mean if you want to be great in the kingdom? 
I, it means you learn how to serve. Amen. 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 And, 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 and what I told them is that yeah. the church is different from the world. Right. In the world, yeah. people want to be served. Yeah. But when you come into the yeah. kingdom of God, you learn how to serve. Yeah. And the yeah. Bible says the Son of Man didn't come to be ministered too, but the Son of Man came to what? To yeah. be served, right? Yeah. He said, I want you to be like them, the Gentile world. The king loved to have authority, yeah. exile authority. But I want you to be different. I want you to learn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to learn how to serve. Yes, sir. He said, that's what that means. Oh, yes. He said, what does that mean? You'll be great. You won't be great. God's king learn how to serve. Right. To the world, you won't be great. You have to be an authority. Yes. But God's king, you learn how to what? Serve. Serve, right? Yes, learn how to serve. Learn how to serve. Yes. Learn how to serve. Yes. And watch the word of God read. That they be rich in good works. Now, 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 if we want to be rich in God's sight, do good works. Do good works. Rich in God's sight. Yes. See, we're we going to lay aside some things, right? Yes. And you want to be rich in God's sight, you have to do what? Some good work, right? Yes. And you don't do it to be seen to man. Right. So let the left hand know what the right hand do, right? right. You, you don't do it, you don't blow your trumpet, right? Yes, right. You're like the Pharisee, you want to be seen to man, right? Yes. You do your good work, go on. Yes. I never remember yes. that during our campaign two years ago, March be two years, mm -hmm. and the guy that they gave us the money toward the handicapped man. Mm -hmm. He said, don't even bring our name up. Right. Yeah, Just right. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He wrote a $5,000 check. Yeah. But he didn't want to name why name he brought up. Because he, he didn't want the glory to go to him. Yeah. He wanted the glory to go to Praise God. Praise the Lord. So that's what Jesus is teaching us how yeah. to serve and, and how not to blow our trumpet when we do a good work. Just do a good work. That's right. God see your work. And he knows yeah. that when you do a good work, he's not going to forget your good work you are shown toward his name. Yeah. That's right. So you got to learn how to do a good work. Yeah. Good teacher. Yes, sir. So do good. Be rich. Read. Mm -hmm. Ready to distribute. Distribute. Help. Read. Mm -hmm. Willing to communicate. Willing to communicate. Right? Read. Yeah. Laying up in store for them. Now, see, 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 they want to lay in store our money. And they're going to come back for rainy day. What's wrong with that? I'm not yeah. saying that. You got to have vision you in this life. Where, but the most important thing is to make sure you got some treasure laid up in there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. You got to lay some treasure up in heaven, right? Mm -hmm. And lay the treasure up by doing some good works, right? That's how I lay my treasure in heaven. Store for me and in the day of judgment. I got some treasure laid up work in heaven. Amen. Yeah. Somebody got nothing to live in heaven. Oh, yeah, mercy. We just come. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. Watch the word of God read. That they may lay hold on eternal life. Now, how can you lay hold on eternal life? Mm -hmm. By doing good work, right? Yeah. By giving your life to Christ, becoming a child of God, and being rich in good work, and laying up your, what? your treasure in heaven, right? Jesus said, don't lay your treasure on earth where thieves and uh, moat and corrupt. Uh, but he said, lay your treasure in heaven where nobody can come and break in. Nobody can take it from you. Yes. Don't treasure will always be up there in heaven when you stand before God as well. Yes. Amen. So lay some treasure up in heaven. Do some good works. Amen. Amen. Read. O Timothy. O Timothy. Keep that which is committed to God. Keep that which is committed to God. That's enough. So lay your treasure in heaven. He said, don't be high, man. I think in that first verse. Also, I think next verse, first verse. Read verse 17. But what did he say in verse 17? Charge them that are rich in this world. Now, 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 is that wrong for a Christian being rich? Right. Amen. Are you hearing about a little boy? Everybody say you need to read. <laughs> now, coming up, all rich folk going to hell. <laughs> and me say the same thing. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. All rich folk not going to hell. Amen. There's a lot of rich folks in the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's not a noble folk, honorable folks in the Bible yeah. that gave their lives to the Lord. Yeah. A poor man is just more rich in faith. Yeah. Probably more accept the gospel than a rich man do. Yeah. But there are some rich folk going to hell. Yeah. And that's why be careful what you repeat. Because yeah. yeah. mm. you truly repeat something that's false. Yeah. And I've done that. Mm -hmm. I've done that. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I was taught. That's what I would talk. And I, I always talk down what I would talk. But they're rich. Abraham was a very rich man. Job was a rich man. Yeah. Of all rich people in the Bible we read about. Yeah. But they didn't let their money become their master. Amen. 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 Zacchaeus was a rich man, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very rich. Yeah. But the rich ruler, oh, yeah. his money had his heart. Yeah. Amen. 
That's the difference. Yeah. Zacchaeus said, if I take taking anything, yeah. I'm going to get it back, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Said, why didn't God tell Zacchaeus to sell everything that he had? Hmm. See, God knows the heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. He know what had that rich young ruler heart. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. It was his money. Yes. <laughs> He knows that your money didn't have his yeah. heart. Yeah. So he didn't tell Zacchaeus to go see everything he had. Mm. Yeah, Zacchaeus, come down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salvation abides your house. Yes, sir. See, God knows the heart of man. Yeah. That's why he didn't tell Zacchaeus to see everything yeah. he had. But the rich man, he knew his heart. Yes. He knew his money was controlling his yes, heart. Sir. Mm. Yes, sir. I know all these things. Lord said, one thing you like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ask yourself the question today, what do you like in your Amen. life? What do you like in your life? Mm -hmm. Now, that's the question you have to ask to yourself. Is it, 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 a like attending service? Is a like loving people? Is a like forgiving somebody? It can be anything. What can be what you like in your life? It might go out and be money. Yeah. Sometimes we think it's money. It's not, it's not money controlling all of our life. So the Bible said, but they don't think it's a Greek brother, Mom. They think we need not high money. Now see, when God bless us, don't get high man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get high man. Don't get high man. Yeah. He bless you. Yeah. Now I showed you later, like we talked about Asa last week. How God blessed Asa. And how Asa cried to the Lord. And Asa cried to the Lord. And Lord delivered from the hand of the Egyptian. And, and, and then, then Asa came and pointed his life. Mm. Then he forgot about who delivered him from his trial. From his enemy. Asa began to call on the king of, 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 of Syria yeah. instead of relying on God. Yeah. And God sent Hannah the prophet. Yes. You don't understand, brother? <laughs> when somebody comes and tells the truth, Help us, we get up mad. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah said to Asa, Hannah said, Asa, <laughs> so do you not forget <laughs> that when you were small, yeah. the Egyptian army was much bigger than your army? Uh -huh. And living what bigger than your army? That God brought you out from there, Mercy. fought for you, mm -hmm. and now God bless you. Mm -hmm. You now you call on the king of Syria to help you. Mm -hmm. I said, how do you to rely on God? Mm -hmm. See, we can't forget how God, mm -hmm. what God brought us from. Yeah. No matter what we, what we get in life, we need all remember God brought me here. Thank you. Thank you. We all remember, no matter what condition we are, we rely on. Yes, he will. He's going to God. Thank you, man. He's going to bring us through, right? Yes. So now, why we get upset? And he got so mad and upset. God turned his feet into leprosy. Sure. Throw the prophet in prison. Mm -hmm. Turn around to folks. Mm -hmm. Because he got told the truth. Yeah. It's something about the truth, man. Yeah. It's something about the truth. Yeah. The truth make enemies. Yeah, mm. yeah. It, it, it get people upset, and but people who love the truth, it don't get them upset. That's right. That's people want to be corrected, it don't get them upset. That's right. Amen. See, I want to be corrected. If I'm wrong, correct me. Amen. Because I want to help when I die. Amen. And I don't have all the answers. But I know who have all the answers. Yeah. That's Jesus Christ, right? Amen. And I know where it can be found spiritually. It can be found where? In the Bible, the Word of God, right? Yeah. So I know what the answers are, but I might not have all the answers. We have to lay aside some things. Yeah. Envy, malice, mm -hmm. slamming one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't talk about your brother and sister. Amen. Especially for the world. Amen. That's all they want to hear. Right, yeah. Even though when they're in the wrong, you still don't talk about it for the world. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't let the world know you know you're talking about your brother and sister. That's all they want to hear. Amen. They're your brother and sister. You know that I be there. You don't talk about them for them. That's right. The Lord said you go to him. Amen. That's right. That's it. You go to him. Mm. He said, a newborn baby mm -hmm. desiring the sincere mirror of the word. Then Peter said in 2 Peter, mm -hmm. he said in verse 18, chapter 1, mm -hmm. he said, grow in grace mm -hmm. and knowledge mm -hmm. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, he tells him in 1 Peter, to lay aside these things. Mm -hmm. Hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Pretending. Mm -hmm. Be genuine. Amen. Don't be play acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Don't be an actor in God's church. Amen. Be genuine. Amen. Be the real person. Amen. Be what God will have you to be. If you're the shortcoming, say, oh, brother, sister, I'm shortcoming. Yes. I ain't where I ought to be. Yes. But I need you to help me. Yes. I'm trying to grow. Amen. Don't pretend to be something you ain't. You know you're not. Right. Just right. let's say I'm, I'm shortcoming. I need I need somebody to help me grow. I need somebody to help me because I'm falling. Yeah. Mm. Some people in church are strong. Yeah. Some people are weak. Yeah. Some people ain't where they ought to be at this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to show some love. Amen. And the Bible says the strong must show uh, show uh, show love for the weak. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people who are struggling yeah. for doing some things in yeah. life. We got to be the farm to help them, not to stomp them, Amen. not to kick them around, Amen. but to love them. Yes, sir. Try to help them grow yeah. as children of God. Yeah. So we as Christians, we got to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ. And, and, and wherefore, run this race oh, yes. with, with patience. Mm -hmm. We're going to run it and yes. put off our weight. Amen. Our weight is sin. Yes, and that besetting sin. Mm. He only say the weight of sin. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He said there is a besetting sin. Yes, sir. Where surround us in circumstances. Yes. circumstances. I don't know what your besetting sin are. Right. But he said we have to lay aside every weight of sin and in the sin so easily beset us. That's what he said. Then he said, looking mm -hmm. to Jesus. Yes, sir. Who is the author? In the finisher of our faith. Amen. You can't run the race looking backwards. Amen. Can't run the race looking all around you. Well, you have to look to the cross. Yes, sir. Where your help come from. Yes. You have to look to Jesus. Yes. Who's the author yes. and finisher of your faith. Yes. You have to stay looking at the cross. Because Jesus understands what you are going through. What you are dealing with. He's been through all of it. Yes. He was tipping the whole point. Yeah, where I sin. And, but he know what we are going through. Amen. You have to keep looking to the cross. Amen. Amen. Keep running the race. Yes, yes sir. Stay in the race. Yes. Mm. Don't leave the race. Yes. Get out of the guy the race. Get back in the race. Amen. Just stay in the race. Yes. Yes. Keep running the race. Thank you. So let us lay aside every way of sin to even set us. Let us be clothed with righteousness. Yes. Put off the other stuff. Let us run the race that is set before us. Yes, sir. You're here this morning. I'm going to sit down. That's all right. And you're not a child of God. Well, did you know that God loved you? Yes, He does. He loved you so much. Yes, He does. That he came into this world to die for you, you and for me. Amen. That we can have all have hope of what? Eternal, Eternal life. Amen. He died for your sin, carried your sin to the cross, buried your sin in His body. He became sin for us. That we might become the righteous of God one day. Mm -hmm. We could become the righteous of God. All he asks you to do today is to hear him. How do I hear him? Mm -hmm. I hear him through the Bible, the word of God. God was son this time and died with man spirit to the Father through the prophets. But in the last day, he speaks to us through his son, yes, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The Lord is speaking to us today Amen. through his word. Yeah. You can be saved today. How do I become a child of God? Romans 10, 17 says, Faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. I got to hear the word in order to come to God. Then I must believe the gospel, believe that Jesus died on that cross for my sin. I must be willing to believe that he was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scripture. Frederick chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. Then I'm going to be willing to repent. Repentance is necessary to go to heaven. Amen. As much as faith is necessary, repentance is necessary. Amen. As much as hearing is necessary, faith is necessary. Amen. All of it is essential yes. to go to heaven. Jesus, I tell you, Nate, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. In the time of the God, we that now command all men everywhere to repent. Acts 17 and verse 30. Then be willing to confess it. I believe. Mm -hmm. Now give a testimony. 
You're not a Christian yet. Amen. Uh, you can't give a testimony. You're not a Christian yet. Amen. You, you still, you still outside of Christ. Yes. And you, you take a necessary step to get in Christ. Yes. You're like when I came to this building this morning. I came unto this building. Mm -hmm. But I went in this building. I came through them doors, Amen. right? And Jesus, I'm the door of the sheepfold. Any man in, in, in by me, he shall be what? Saved, right? Yeah. I'm the door. Mm -hmm. So in order to come to the door, you have to come where he tell you to come. Mm -hmm. How am going to come? Hearing, believe, repentance, confession. Being baptized. Mm -hmm. Baptism puts you into the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Into the church. Mm -hmm. The church make up the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. It represents the body of Christ. By one spirit, we're all baptized into mm -hmm. one body. Mm -hmm. And Lord, add the saved people to the church. Acts 2.47. Yes, sir. In baptism, my sin will wash away. Acts 22.16. In baptism, my, I'm, I'm baptized for remission of my sin. In baptism, I put on Christ. I'm clothed with him in baptism. You can't go to heaven until you're clothed with Jesus Christ. Amen. That means you're clothed with Christ in baptism. And when you get clothed with Christ, you must keep your clothes on as well also, right? Uh, you got to keep them on, right? You're clothed with Christ, what? In baptism, right? You put on Christ, what? In baptism, right? And then you continue to grow as a child of God. Your sins are washed away. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus. In 1 Peter 3, 21, it says, baptism are also what? Now, when? Now say, well, I don't know what the nomination preachers say. I'm talking what the Bible teaches. Mm -hmm. Baptism now. Mm -hmm. Say what? Well, you yeah. might can't understand. The Lord ain't tell you to understand. He said, do it. Yes, Just do it. Do it. Right. Just do what God say. Amen. He ain't tell you to figure out how it's saved. Right. Just do it. Amen. Just do it. Amen. Jesus paid your debt for you. Yes, on the cross. Do what he say. Yes. You're saved. Y'all, child of God, you need prayer this morning? We'll pray for you as well. Yeah. Won't you come? Won't you come to the Lord? Or the blood is running warm in your bank. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.